check out this sick slime block elevator. Just step over here, hit that button, and it blasts you all the way up to the top. That is so cool. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Today, we are going to be taking a look at how to create a very simple slime block elevator. Now, this is really awesome because it is modular, so you can build anywhere from two floors all the way up to the sky limit. All right, so this is very simple, so let's go ahead and check out the two designs that we have. All right, so the one on the left and the right-hand side is essentially the same design except that are going to demonstrate that you can use this to get from the bottom of this floor all the way to the top or you could use it to stop off on different levels like a normal elevator if you so choose then the only downside to this is that you could only go up and then in order to get to other floors like this you have to jump back down and then retry it from the bottom all right so anyways let's go ahead and take a look at this the one on the left is basically going to take us all the way to the top like i mentioned we simply hit that button and check this out we're gonna go all the way to the top and just time it walk on forward and now we are here that quick and that easy i mean this is a really awesome way to enter a secret house if it's like really high up in a mountain or something and i definitely find it really cool now if you're on survival mode and you're wondering how would you get down like I said you would simply drop down onto that slime block since it is a slime block you won't take any fall damage and if you crouch on the slime block you will stop bouncing now like I said if you want to get to a different level you will have to come all the way back down and then try hitting that button again all right so let's test out the second elevator this one's actually the same exact design except I placed down some blocks for us to land on if you want to get to other floors now like I said you do have to time your jumps so let's just go ahead and step on the slime block over here and then click on that button and then walk on forward that will take us to the second floor as you can see then we could jump back down onto the first floor and then we could go on to the third floor by clicking on this then jumping one more time and then walking forward and here we are now on the third floor if you want to get to the fourth and final floor we jump down back here yet again and we simply time all of our uh, slime block launchers in order to get to the top so that's one, two, and three, and walk forward, and here we are now on the fourth and final floor. So yeah, that's basically how it works. It is, yet again, very simple to create, and I think it's one of the best elevators for the amount of time you do have to spend on it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this. So to build this, you're going to need the items in my inventory as well as a 4x3x3 by three by three deep hole. Once you have that, you want to grab yourselves a block of your choice, build out one block right over here, one block away from the front wall, then place down a sticky piston facing up with a slime block on top of that. Then you want to go ahead and destroy this block at the bottom, then place down a block right over here, a bit of redstone dust there, and then a redstone repeater coming out of this block going towards the back, a block right over here. Here, and then redstone dust here and there now once you have that you want to grab yourselves some obsidian blocks since this is the only immovable block that cannot be attached to slime blocks place down one over here and basically all on the sides of where our slime block is going to touch and since it's going to move up as well you want to make sure you place down obsidian blocks over there and then you can place down any types of blocks in these areas now you want to grab yourselves a button place down your button right in this location then you want to go ahead and grab yourselves another block of your choice and pretty much build up one two three and do this for all of the different sides and then you want to grab yourselves another sticky piston place it facing up right over here with a slime block on top of that then you want to place down some more blocks right over here and right over there place down obsidian here and there as well as all on top of these blocks yet again any blocks that will be touching our slime blocks need to be obsidian that way it does not break the system now what we need to do is basically repeat the system yet again and we will place down one two three blocks over here place down a stick piston right on top with a slime block right on top of that and then we place down an obsidian block over here and then we would grab ourselves our block of our choice yet again place down one two three our uh, sticky piston facing up and our slime block on top and finally another obsidian block and you would simply re 
repeat that for however many floors that you would like. It could go all the way up to sky limit if you so choose, and it works pretty much the same. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab ourselves some more blocks and just build up these areas. You want to build it up until it's leveled with the sticky piston, and then once you have that, you want to just build up two on this side, two on that side, and repeat this process. So let's just go ahead and do that. Build it up until it reaches the sticky piston, and then you want to grab yourself some more obsidian, place down your obsidian here and there. All right, so now this will actually launch you above five blocks. So you want to go ahead and build up five more blocks using our blocks of our choice and then add in our final destination. All right, so let's just go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want to just extend this and make a small platform. And of course, we want to delete the block in the middle. All right, so that's going to be our final floor. And then we could go ahead and add in the remainder blocks over here so it doesn't look too weird. All right, so now we need to go ahead and connect up the redstone and add in our floors. I'm going to connect the redstone first since that is the most important part. All right, so to connect up our redstone, we want to grab ourselves some slabs and place it upside down on this block right over there or actually right over here. And then place down a bit of redstone dust there. And if it goes on top of that block that means you placed it correctly and you want to place another upside down slab right on that block and yet again if you place on redstone over here and it works that means you did it correctly now you want to extend two blocks like this destroy that block over there place on a redstone torch a block a redstone torch and then another block and then place down a block right beneath the sticky piston place down a block on this side right beneath the sticky piston and then build up two blocks like this destroy the block at the bottom Grab yourselves a redstone repeater, place one down over here and then one over here. Set this to four ticks, place down redstone dust there. And then you want to grab yourselves a block of your choice, build out two temporary blocks right over there. Place down a sticky piston facing towards our slime block and that is one section now completed. Now we just need to do the next section and finally the third one, destroy this block at the back. Grab ourselves some obsidian yet again, place down obsidian next to our slime blocks just like that and then place down a redstone torch on top of that obsidian on the left hand side place down a block over here then a redstone torch on the face of that block and then a block on top of this redstone torch and then another redstone torch on the face of that block and then another uh you know block on top of that redstone torch and then finally another redstone torch right over there and you want to place down another block on top of that redstone torch and then another block down over here beneath our sticky piston. And we are simply repeating the process that we just did. Build up a block on this side, place down a redstone repeater over here and over there. Set that one to four ticks, a bit of redstone dust there. Build out two blocks over here. And then we want to place down a sticky piston facing towards our slime block. Now, if you guys did get confused from all of those redstone torches, let's go ahead and do it one more time, but a little slower. We place down an obsidian block over here and over there. And one thing I do want to mention is that from this point on with all of those redstone torches, you would just repeat it until you get to the top. But anyways, uh, we place down an obsidian on the left and right hand side. Then we place down a redstone torch right on the left hand side, just like that. Place down a block right on top of that. Then on the side of this block, we place down a redstone torch. Then on top of that block, we place down another block and then another redstone torch and then another block over here and then another redstone torch so it is inverted. Then another block on top of that and then we continue building where we left off. So build down a block right beneath that sticky piston. Then build up a block on this side and then grab yourselves some redstone repeaters. Place one down there and there. And then set this one to four ticks, place down redstone dust over there, grab yourselves some of blocks of your choice, build out two blocks over here, and then grab ourselves some sticky pistons and place it facing towards this direction, of course, towards our slime block. Then you want to go ahead and destroy the block at the back. And that should be now our entire elevator now completed. If you want to extend it more up, you would just repeat that process like I just did. Now, let's just go ahead and finish off the floor areas. And for the floor areas, I just want to build out some blocks right over there. So line, lining up with our slime blocks should be just fine. There you go. All right, so there we have our elevator now with four floors. So let's go ahead and test this out and see if it works. All right, so to get to the first floor or actually the second floor, we would click on this button once, then hop on out. And there we go, we are now on the second floor. And one thing I do wanna mention is that you wanna make sure you place down obsidian right over here because that will be touching our slime block. So that's actually one thing I did forget to mention. 
And this is why it's important because it will move blocks and sometimes break the elevator. Either way, that's an important lesson. So let's just reset everything and try one last time. All right, so we'll just go back down to the bottom and try to get to the first floor. Simply step onto the elevator, hit that button and go forward. And here we are now on technically the second floor. And then we could go ahead and try to get on the third floor and you would click on that button, count one, then two. And here we are now on the third floor. All right, so to get to the fourth floor, we would just jump back down over here and then crouch so we could stop hopping. Then count uh, one, two, and then three, and here we are now on the fourth floor. Now to get all the way to the top, I'm not sure if that's possible, but it should be possible. We would just, uh, you know, come back down over here and then hit this button and just let it go all the way to the top. So that's one, two, three, and four, then jump forward and boom. Now we here are, now we're on the fifth floor, excuse me. All right, so there you go. That is pretty much our elevator. Like you saw, it is very simple to create and it's not really difficult to use either. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's Redstone tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you want to see more awesome Redstone tutorials, be sure to take one second to crush that like button. Let's aim for a thousand likes on this video as well as don't forget to leave a comment down below and suggest another tutorial that you guys would like to see and also don't forget to subscribe to see when I post those videos anyways if you watch all the way to the end type in hashtag team twist into the comments so I know which one of you are the most awesome as well as this was twist and I'll see you guys next time